So, Joe, I'm going to get everybody in here first, and then we'll st I'm going to start. All right. Joe, I'm going to tell you when we're going to start here. All right. Okay. So, Joe, we're going to start in five, four, three, two, one. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, here and at home. How is everybody doing on this fine Tuesday morning? Wonderful. Everybody get a round of applause for yourself today. Round of applause. I'm doing that because you know what? No, everybody's blessed today. You know why? Because we all woke up. Oh, that's right. We're very oh, blessed yeah. just to have woken up today. That, that's that's 99% of life, right? Waking up. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Waking up and showing up. Yes. So today you all woke up and you showed up to my class. And again, my name is Diallo, and we're doing another exciting variation of our Chair Chi daily exercise. And for today's Chair Chi, what we're going to need, just like we had yesterday, we're going to come back to our balls, our pelotas, okay? So everybody here at the center with me right now, if you look down to your left or your right of your chair, you're going to see a, a, either a blue or a pink ball. Oh, oh yes. So look down to one side. Put your eyes. There you go. Other side, Jose. Lily, right there. Look. See? Boom! So pick it up for me. There you go, Christina. Look to your, look to your left. Pick up the ball. There you go. Good. So today, we, can, we have our balls, and it could be a volleyball, basketball. Think the best kind of balls for this are the ones you get the, at the grocery store that are like $2, 3 You see them in those big bins where you pull them out, they can bounce everywhere. So grab one of those. Okay, and today, yesterday, we did all of our exercises sitting down in the chair. Today, we're going to mix it up a little bit and do half standing and half sitting. For those of you at home who are in a, who are in a wheelchair or cannot walk or stand, you can do all these sitting down as well. And if your caregiver or helper is there, make sure that they're next to you if you want to stand up so that they're, they, they're a good balance point and a safety just in case you were to fall. Okay, we're not going to fall, but just in case. All right, so first thing we always do is you always warm up or move our hands and move our feet warm up, okay? But this time with it, we are going to stand up doing it. So everybody, I want you to stand up. Okay. You can? Yes. And again, if you can't stand up, you're going to do the exercise sitting down. If you can't, you're going to do the exercise just like this, oh. sitting down. Everybody else is going to stand up. So Jose, stand up for me, Jose. So first, we're going to start with moving our feet. And we're gonna go on my pace and I wanna hear you. Okay. One, two, move your feet. One, two, move your feet. Keep going. One, two, move your feet. One, two, move your feet. One, two, move your feet. Now we're gonna, now we're gonna get the movement of the ball into it. Okay. So we're gonna go. One, two, move your feet. 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 We hear you. One, two, move your feet. One, two, move your feet. Stop those feet. Two, move your feet. One, my pace, the my pace. One, two, move your feet. 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 Let's go, Bash Kid. Bash Kid, move those legs, move those legs, move those feet. Come on. Move those legs, move those feet, and stop. Woo! Awesome. So let's get back in our places now here. Lily, come back here. I had to get here quick. That's right. Yep, go sit right here. All right. Excellent. Now we're nice and warmed up. And now we're gonna we're still gonna we're gonna stay seated now. Okay. 
And we're going to get our ballerina stretch right off the bat. So we're going to get the ball in our right hand. Our right hand's going to come up. We're going to reach over our left side, reach over ourselves. Here, right over the top of your head. So it should be like an arc, like a half moon. So the other way, Jose. So yeah, keep the ball down. Keep the ball in that hand. There you go. Good. And we're going to come back to the middle. We're going to switch over to our left hand. We're going to bring our left arm and our hand straight up. And we're going to lean it over ourselves. Good. Other way, Jose. Keep the, Jose, keep the ball in that hand. Just lean the other way. So lean the other way. Not sure. No, you're doing good. So put it up. And now we're going to lean that way so you feel the stretch in there, okay? Good. All right, back to the middle. Okay, back to the right hand now. Arm straight up. Good. Lean over our left. Good. Try to lean a little bit further this time. Really feel that stretch in your side obliques, in your abs. Good. Back to the middle. One more time. Left arm, left hand, straight up. Lean over to our right, stretch even more. Get a nice, good stretch. Excellent, back to the middle, beautiful. Now, we're gonna warm up our ankles a little bit. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put our left foot forward with our heel up. Okay, we're gonna get our foot off the ground and we're gonna pretend that our big toe is a paintbrush. And with that, we're gonna paint a circle just with our big toe and feet. So we're not gonna move our legs. No, we're not gonna move our legs like this. We're just gonna move the ankle in a circle. Just the ankle, pretend that your big toe is a paintbrush, okay? Move it in a circle. And you can switch and move it the other direction. Good, again, just try to move the ankle and the big toe. That's it, perfect. Really concentrate. So keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. So literally, you wanna make sure, no, keep going. All you want to do is move that. So just move this. There you go. Come on. There you go. No, just yeah, just move it. That's all we're moving. Okay. We're not moving the whole leg. Okay. We're just moving the big toe. Okay. So try it right now. Go. There you go. That's what we're doing. Okay. So try not to move this leg, just the toes. Okay. Okay. Good. Now we're gonna switch feet. Go to our right foot now. So put our right foot out and up. Same thing. We're gonna rotate that ankle. <laughs> Good, rotate it. Again, not the leg. Okay. We're gonna, our leg is staying perfectly still okay. and we're just rotating the ankle. So if you're having a hard time, go okay. slow. Go slow if you have to. So you can really concentrate on just the ankle and the big toe. Okay, good. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Just let me help you, Lily. So again, just turn it. There you go. So just go slow right now. Go, you don't have to go fast. Really concentrate. And we're going to go slow and we're just going to roll it around just like that, okay? Good. There you go. It's hard, huh? It's good, though. For some of you, it's a little bit more difficult, but that's okay. Really work on it. If your caregiver is there next to you, make sure that if they're moving their foot around like this, that you're going to come over to them and you're going to grab their leg and really help them focus on just moving the ankle and the foot, okay? Perfect. Now, Everybody's going to stand up. Okay, we're going to do calf raises. For those of you who cannot stand up, when you're sitting down, all you're doing is going from heels to toes, standing down, okay? For those of us standing up, what we're going to do, stay where you are, don't move. What we're going to do is we're going to go up on our toes and down. That's going to be one, okay? We're going to do 10 of those. We're going to do two sets of 10. So ready and up. And down, that's one. Up and down, that's two. Up and down, that's three. And up, good. And down, that's four. And up and down, that's five. Up and down, that's six. Up, let me hear you. And down, that's seven. Up and down, that's eight. Up and down, that's nine. Up, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it up there, hold it up. And down, that's ten. Good. Again, this is not only a strength exercise, but it's also a balance exercise. So it's really going to work on your equilibrium, and especially when we're holding up there, making sure we have a good balance and a good base, okay? Okay. So now what I want you to do is just shake your legs out like that. Shake them out. There you go. We're going to do one more set of that. I feel like a dog getting his belly scratched. 
Oh, oh. You ever stretch the belly in that perfect spot? The dog's leg just goes like that. <laughs> All right, do a second set of calf raises. Everybody ready? And up on our toes and down. That's one. Up and down. That's two. Up and down. That's three. Good. Up and down. That's four. Up and down. That's five. Up and down. That's six. Up and down. That's seven. Up and down. That's eight. Up and down. That's nine. Up. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it up there. And down. That's ten. Woo. Now go shake it out again. I know you guys can feel that because I can feel that in my calves. That's burning. It's a good burn. All right. Now what we're going to do is we're going to do uh, lean overs. Okay. So what we're literally going to do is stay where you are. Okay. As I want you to, we're literally going to have her legs straight. Yeah. Yeah. We got Exactly. So tell her I'll come get her in like 20 minutes. Okay. All right. So again, we're going to do lean over. So what we're going to do, make sure our back stays straight and our head stays up. Mm -hmm. And all we're doing is leaning over and we're reaching down and back up. Okay. And again, we want to make sure that our head stays tall. Okay. Our back stays straight and our legs stay straight. And then we're leaning over, keep her head up, looking at me and back up. That's two. Show you again. Lean over. Keep your head up looking at me. Keep your head up looking at me. And up. That's three. And down. Look at me. Look at me. Look at me. Up. That's okay. four. Okay, good. And down. Look at me. Up. That's five. Again, keep your head up looking at me the whole time. So you're not going to, when you go down, you're not going to be like this. When you go down, you're going to have your go down. So Lily, look at me. Put, get your head up, Lily. Chin up. Chin up, Lily. And up. Good. And again, down. Good. Down. Lily, let's go down again, Lily. Go down. Now, now we're going to get our head. Move your head up. Just ahead. So just your head. Move it. So look, look at look at the bar right now. Just your head. Look at the ball. Up, more, 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 more. Good. There you go. That's what. That's how you want to do this, okay? okay. So we go down. We don't want to head down. Okay. We want to go down and keep our chin up. Keep our chin up. Okay. okay? So again, down. Keep the chin up. Up. That's six. Down, up, that's seven, down, up, that's eight, down, up, that's nine, one more, down, and up, that's ten, beautiful. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to do side kicks, okay, sorry, side, side knee kicks. So what we're going to do is we're going to get our foot feet a little bit wider, okay, and what we're going to do is grab the ball in our hand. We're going to get our arm, arms up, and what we're going to do is we're going to reach up with our right knee and touch. Right. Yep, and bring up and touch and down. Good. And again, right knee up, touch, and down. That's two. Up, touch, and down. That's three. Good. Up, touch, touch, down. Again, the ball's up over your head. Trudy, up over your head. There you go. Up, down, five. Up. Down six. Good, Jose. Let's move over just a tad. No, no, I'm going to move you over just a tad. You're good. Because you're blocking the camera a little bit, Jose. That's why I want you to move over a little bit. Ready? Up and down. That's nine. One more. Up and down. That's ten. Good. So, Jose, can you move over just a little bit? Because you're blocking the camera. Okay? Do this. There we go. All right. So now we're going to switch over to our left leg. We're going to do the same thing. Ball starts over your head. Okay. Feet a little bit wider apart. We're going to reach up with our knee, touch, and down, back up. That's one. Up, touch, down, that's two. Up, touch, down, that's three. Up, touch, down, that's four. Up, touch, down, that's five. Up, touch, down, that's six. Up, touch, down, that's seven. And up, touch, and down, that's eight. Up, touch, and down, that's nine. And up, touch, and down, that's ten. Beautiful. Ten. Woo. Can we sit? Two chairs right here, is it? Hey, no, sit. Hey, sit. No, you stay right here because I don't want you to block the camera, okay? Yeah. Yeah, I want you to block the camera because then nobody can see. <laughs> All right. So good job. Everybody can sit down, take a deep breath. Those are fantastic exercises. 
That was a lot more difficult than we've been doing, but you guys at home and here did a fantastic job. Did a fantastic job, okay? Woo! Okay, good. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back and just do upper body, okay? We're going to do shoulder press. So we're still sitting down. Ball is gonna come with both hands at our, at our eye level, chin level. We're gonna do a shoulder press, which is pushing up over your head and down. That's one, up. And down, that's two. Up and down, that's three. Let me hear you count. Up and down, that's four. Up and down, that's five. Up and down, that's six. Up and down, that's seven. Up and down, that's eight. Up and down, that's nine. Up and down, that's ten. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. All right. Now we're going to mix that up with ice cream scoops. Okay. So again, what we're gonna do is we're gonna have our legs spread apart, our knees spread apart, balls in between our legs like so. Okay. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna scoop the ice cream up and then down. That's one, scoop it up and down. That's two, scoop it up and down. Hold up, hold up. And for this one, we wanna make sure we keep our arms straight. We don't want our arms bent and coming up. We want them straight and coming straight up all the whole time, okay? We want to stay strong and maintain that strength throughout the whole entire exercise. Wow. That's how we're going to get the best results and best outcomes when we get finished with the exercises. If we do them correctly or as close to correctly as you can do. Okay, so we're going to start again. Ready and up. And down, that's four. Up. And down, that's five. Up. Keep those arms straight. Down, that's six. Up. And down, that's seven. Keep your head up, too. Up. Head up. Down, that's eight. Head up. Up. Should be looking straight across at you. Nine. Up and down. That's ten. Good. So again, for all these exercises, we should never have her head down. She should always have her head up. Like if you were talking to somebody and you were looking at them eye to eye. That's what you that's where you want your head at. Okay. Okay. Now we're gonna go back to our shoulder press. So everybody stay seated. Yep, and we're gonna go back to our shoulder press. So what I'm just a reminder, our shoulder press, ball's gonna come into our chin. And we're just gonna push it straight up over our head and down. That's one, push it straight up and down. That's two, push it straight up and down. That's three, up and down. That's four, up and down. That's five, up and down. That's six, up and down. That's seven, up and down. That's eight, up and down. That's nine or more, up and down. That's 10. Woo! Fantastic job. Everybody at home, you're doing amazing today. And everybody here, you're doing yeah, amazing. <laughs> Thank you. All right, so we're going to do our last set of these, which is going to be our ice cream scoops. So again, we're going to have our knees spread apart. Okay, ball in both hands, go down. And again, our arms and everything are staying straight, and we're scooping straight up. Okay, just like that. Okay, so that, that was just how, how it looks from the side. From the front, again, balls down, and we're going to scoop up and down. That's one. Up and down, that's two. Up and down, that's three. Up and down, that's four. Up and down, that's five. Up and down, that's six. Up and down, that's seven. Up and down, that's eight. Up and down, that's nine. Up and down, that's ten. Woo! Wow. <laughs> Woo, that was some good shoulder and bicep workout, wasn't it? Sure. Ooh, wee. Ooh, wee. Big swing. Big swing, 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 swing. Big swing. <laughs> so if you go to Arkansas, they have pig cup calling contests just like that. So they got little kids out there. Big swing. swing, 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 swing. <laughs> and try to see if the pig will actually come to them. Most times it doesn't. <laughs> you know that pigs are just just as or smarter than dogs. Pigs are very smart animals. And there are there are many people here around the world and in the United States that actually have in their body, they have some of their body parts have been replaced with the body parts of pigs. Like a like a liver, maybe a heart. Some people have had a pigs. They've had portions of the heart replaced with portions of pig hearts, like a pig valve in their heart. People have those in their body. How crazy is that? That one of our closest relatives when it comes to 
being able to, 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 sur to surgically remove stuff is pigs. Not monkeys or apes, but pigs. <laughs> Crazy, isn't it? All right. So now what we're going to do is we're going to do, uh, we're going to do rows, okay? Just like a row in a boat. And this time we're going to sing our row, row, row your boat song too. So everybody just watch me for right now. I'm going to turn to the side just so I show you what it's supposed to look like when you do a row. When you're doing the row, you're going to start here and we're going to row. We're going to pull our shoulders, our elbows, and we want to try to squeeze our shoulder blades. Everybody know what their shoulder blades are? And you're back here. You want to try to squeeze those together. Okay. So we're going to go like this and we're going to go row, row, row your boat just like that. Okay. And we're going to go through the song three times. And I want it to be the best row, row, row boat, boat song ever. It's going to be so good. We're going to have our own orchestra of row, row, row your boat. What's, what, do you want the, what do you want us to be called? What's going to be our orchestra name? Or our singing band name? The row, row, row your boaters? <laughs> the motor, row your boaters? All right. So again, we're going to start. I'll ball out. And we're going to bring it in. We're going to go row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 life is but a dream. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 life is but a dream. One more. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 life is but a dream. Woo! That was beautiful, ladies and gentlemen. Woo! Yes. All right, so now we're going to go back to our lower body again. Okay. Only this time we're going to do abs. We're going to do abs and lower body. So everybody, we're going to take our pelota, take our ball. We're going to put it between our knees, okay? And what we're going to do is we're going to do knee raises. <laughs> what these knee raises work is it works the muscles in your quadriceps and in your abs, okay? When you have strong abs and a core, what it does for you, it's going to have give you the ability to be able to maintain your walking independence for longer. That's what everybody wants, correct? Yes. You want to maintain their mobility for as long as possible. Having a strong core and strong abs is going to help with that. So everybody has the ball between your legs. Yes, sir. And what we're going to do is we're going to lift our, we're just going to lift our legs up and down. That's going to be one. These are just called leg lifts, okay? Up and down. That's two. Up and down. That's three. Up and down. That's four. Up and down. That's five. Up and down. That's six. Up. And down, follow me now. Up and eight. That's nine. One more. Hold it up. Up. Hold it up. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Now, as you're holding it, take your arms up. Put them in the air. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. And down. Woo. Woo. That felt good, didn't it? Nice. Now we're gonna do over unders. So what that's gonna do? We're gonna take our ball. We're gonna put it between our feet, so our feet can hold the ball like so. Okay. And we're gonna do over unders. What that is, is we're going to literally going to roll and have our feet up, and we're going to roll the ball over and under, just like that, okay? Over and under, just like that, okay? Okay. And we're going to go, we're going to go on my count. So ready? Get them up. Start. Over, under, over, eight, over, under, seven, over, under, six, over, under, five, over, under, four, over, under, three. Over, under, two, over, under, one, over, under, zero. That's a tough one, isn't it? Good job. Now we're going to pick the ball up again. We're going to put it between our knees because we're doing two sets of everything. Okay. And again, we're doing our knee lifts just like we were doing our first set. Okay. And on the very last one, we're going to hold it up for five to 10 seconds on number 10. Okay. All right. Everybody got their breath? Yes, Everybody ready? Get, get at home. We're doing knee raises. Oh. And on the last one, we're going to hold it for five to ten seconds. We're going to hold our hand, our knees and our hands. We're going to hold like this for five to ten seconds on the last one. Okay. Ooh, man, my eyes are burning. 
I don't see it in play. <laughs> Not yet. All right. Everybody ready? And up and down. That's one. Up and down. That's two. Up, down. That's three. Up, down. That's four. Up, down. That's five. Up, down. That's six. Up, down. That's seven. Up, down. That's eight. Up, down. That's nine. One more. Hold it up. Hold it. Hold it up. Hold it. Ready? And arms up. Hold it. Up. Five, four, three, two, and one. Woo! Fantastic job. Yeah. We're going to finish up strong right here. We're going to finish up strong with our over and unders. This is the hardest exercise we have all day, especially now we're a little bit tired. Okay, really, I want you to fight through it. Okay, you feel you feel a little bit of that burn in there? Fight through it. Because when you get done, you're going to be like, wow, I accomplished this. Okay, make this accomplishment for a day. All right, so again, I'm a reminder what over unders are. Balls between your feet. Put our feet straight out, up off the ground, and we're going to go over and under, okay? We got 10 of those. Are we ready? Feet up, over, under, one, over, under, two, over, under, three, over, under, four, over, under, five, over, under, six, over, under, seven, over, under, eight, over, under, nine, or more, over, under, ten. That was even difficult for me. <laughs> nice. Ooh, that was beautiful. Now we're going to do our cool down dynamics and stretching, okay? First one, we're going to get our butt a little bit close to the edge of our seats. We're going to get our feet straight out just like so, okay? And what we're going to do, we're going to do a set of 10, but it's going to be five on each foot and leg. So what we're doing, we're going to start with our left leg first, and we're going to go down, touch the toe, and back up. Same thing. We're going to start with our left side the whole entire time. And down, touch the toe, back up. That's two. Down, touch the toe, back up. That's three. Down, touch the toe, back up. That's four. Down, touch the toe, back up. That's five. Good. Remember, every time we're doing an exercise where we're leaning over, we don't want our head down. We want our head up. That's going, to give a, that's going to make sure everything is in alignment with our body, from our back to our abs to our buttocks, okay? Now we're going to go to our right foot, right leg. As we go down, we're going to keep our head up, head up, head up, and up. That's one. Down and up, that's two. Feel that stretch. Down and up, that's three. Down and up, that's four. Keep the head up. Down and up, that's five. Beautiful. Do one more set for each of those. You guys feel the stretch in your hamstrings? Right there. Oh, yeah. Wow. Oh, yeah, Grandma. <laughs> All right. Now we're going to go. Now what we're going to do is we're going to, we're going to do it like this. We're going to go down on our left leg, up, and then down on our right leg and up. Okay? That's going to be one. We're going to do five of those. Everybody got that? So, again, <laughs> down to the left side and up. Down to the right side and up. That's one. Down to the left and up. Down to the right and up. That's two. Down to the left and up. Down to the right and up. That's three. Down to the left and up. Down to the right and up. That's four. Hold on a second. But remember, if it's a little bit harder for you to get your feet straight and do this, that means you need to scoot your butt closer to the edge of the, of the seat so that you're able to put our legs and feet straight out, okay? We don't want our feet bent in doing it. We want our legs straight out in doing it, okay? So let's start again, ready? Down to the left and up, that's three. Down to the right and up, that's three. Two more, down to the left and up. Down to the right and up, that's four. Down to the left and up. Down to the right and up, that's five. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Ooh, I'm parched. I need to get a quick drink real quick. I don't think coffee's going to help, but at least I wet my whistle. Oh, that is some cold coffee. <laughs> After we're almost done. All right. So now what we're going to do is we're going to stretch out our midsection. We're going to do we're going to do ab rotations. Okay. So what it is, balls going to come straight out. And we're going to rotate ourselves with our head to the right. So we're trying to look over our back shoulder. 
And then to the left, to the, left. To the middle, that's one. To the, to the right, yeah. to the left, to the middle, that's to the two. Middle. To the right, to the right, to the left, to the middle, that's three. To the right, yeah. to the left, yeah. to the middle, that's four. To the right, right. to the left, yeah. to the middle, that's five. Yeah. Beautiful, beautiful. We're gonna do our last stretch with balls. My favorite is gonna be our ballerina stretch. Why? This is my favorite stretch. That's why, I, that's why I start every exercise or start every every day with it and end every day with it. Okay, so again, ball's gonna start in our right hand. The right hand's gonna go straight up. Okay, and we're gonna lean over ourselves. So you can feel the stretch basically really from your from your wrist all the way down to your buttocks. Yeah. Good, and back to the middle. Go switch to the left hand. Left hand goes straight up. We're gonna go over ourselves. Feel that stretch. Beautiful. Back to the middle. Switch to the right hand and up. Rotate, oh, lean it over. Good. Great job at home today. You guys did a great job at home. Great job here. Switch hands, go to the left hand now, go last one, up, up. and over. over. Finish strong right here. Uh -huh. yeah. And back to the middle, yeah. namaste. <laughs> Thank you again, you guys did a fantastic job today. Ladies and gentlemen, today I think was the best day you've ever done. Thank it you. was fantastic all the way around, at home and here. So I will see you tomorrow. Okay, my name is Diallo, and Diallo. this is my daily chair chi exercise. Oh, Have a wonderful okay. day. Stay safe and stay hydrated. And you do the same. Thank you. You are welcome.